Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Just Shy. I am shy, the person, not the adjective. And my desk is full of boxes. <laughs> I honestly um, didn't think it was gonna, gonna be this much, but um, your girl, she dropped some bands on some new binders and things. Um, but I really couldn't decide between Prism Platinum and Meow Cafe. I wanted a new um, A5 binder for my Hongjun collection because he's kind of outgrown the binder that he's in and I would just overall like a more sturdy secure binder for him. So I knew I was going to get one from one of these two brands. I shopped with them during their like winter sales. Well Meow Cafe had a winter sale, Prism Platinum, didn't really, but I did get some free stuff. Anyway, we'll go through all of that. But basically, um, I thought I would do a comparison video. So if you are like me and you're looking for a new A5 and you've heard about these brands, then you can see exactly what you're getting, how you're getting it, and see which one is right for you. So that's what we're going to do today. So <laughs> this is way too much stuff to be on my desk at once. So we will start with Meow Cafe. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with Meow Cafe. And for both stores, I essentially ordered the same thing to just like <laughs> keep everything chill. Um, so I ordered two binders. I wanted a pink and a white for each store. And then I got whatever kind of bundle or like page thing that they offered. So these two binders, <laughs> this one has the little kitty hook and this one doesn't. And I'm a little sad that this one doesn't. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but like, yeah. I don't know if this one's like an older version of this binder because I know they revised them periodically, but yeah. So this is how they came. I'm assuming all of the pages that I ordered are in here, but yeah, let's take a look at this white one first. Okay, so, oh, I like this. I like the personal touches. <laughs> yeah, it does have this little cat thing. I am a little bit worried about it. Um, just because I have seen a couple of videos where this has like cracked. So like that would be super upsetting if like you just went to open your binder one day and then like the little kitty symbol was cracked. But I do like how big these are. These are um, two inch D-ring A5 binders. So like you want space, you're getting space. Like this is I think the biggest A5 <laughs> ever, <laughs> just ever. Um, and it does include... Uh, the backboards to keep your pages from bending, which is really, really nice that it's included if you get the bundle. So let's, let's talk about how much I spent. So this white binder was $39.99 and then the pink one was $41.99. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Cause like I bought them from the same listing. I just literally just picked one of them pink and one of them white. I don't know if this one was a couple of dollars cheaper because it was like the older one that doesn't have the little kitty knob. I don't know. I really don't know, but I bought them from the same list. <laughs> so I got, yes, this white binder and the pink binder as bundles and I got 20% off and I got free shipping. So your girl was like living her best life. So all in all with tax and everything, I only spent $71.24. I say only, but like <laughs> that's still quite a bit for some of you. So like, don't mind me when I say only, like I'm just happy because I got, I got 20% off. I'm like, oh, <laughs> what a steal. Um, so yeah, that's how much both of these binders cost me. So let's look at these pages oh ooh. so yeah this should be yeah so two packs per binder it looks like how many's in here 
25 pages. So I got 100 pages as well. And then both of them did come with a backboard. So I don't, I don't think that's a bad bundle. Like, honestly, free shipping and 20% off. Like, I'm happy. I'm honestly happy. So let's test out these pages because I was very confused on their website about the, the sizing. Because I use Dragon Shields and <laughs> like, I know the like measurements of a Dragon Shield, but like, I, there was like standard size and then slim size and then wide size. And I was just like, <laughs> so let's see, let me get a photo card. So this is going to be our test Jongo of the day. So let's, let's just make sure that he... Okay, good. He fits in here because I don't know what I was going to do if it was like <laughs> he does not fit in there. Uh, okay, and he fits easily in all of the pockets. Sometimes there can be like manufacturing issues and then all the pockets aren't the same size. Does not look like that's the case with these. He fits great in all pockets. The only thing I would say I don't like is like, I don't even know if you can see it on camera, but there's like this the front of the pocket like ends a little bit shorter than the top so like this little edge of jong o is technically out he's uncovered he's exposed um it is just the sleeve but let me see if i put him in a japanese size so i have re-sleeved him into a uh, dragon shield japanese size so i think this is more yeah now the height is perfect but i don't i don't like my cards being like loose and able to just wiggle and then he will in fact fall out <laughs> so that's why i like to get sleeves that are like pretty much the exact size of the pocket a little bit smaller so that they will like fit in there but yeah so this will fit a dragon shield let me see if he'll fall out <laughs> We're going to do the Will Jongo fallout test because if my baby's not safe, like, that's not the car seat for me. <laughs> okay, see, he's not moving when I put him in a dragon shield. Like, he's still in there. Like, he's safe. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. So, yeah, although dragon shield sticks out, like, the tiniest bit, which I don't even know if you can see on camera, like... Just the tiniest bit he sticks out there. Um, he is safe in there. Like, <laughs> he's not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry, John. <laughs> oh, he's a brave boy. He'll be fine. <laughs> also, something to note about this blue pack is that these are not double-sided. I feel like I ordered double-sided for, I think, maybe Prism Platinum. But I didn't for Meow Cafe, apparently. I am a person who does like to double side my card, so that's sad for me, but <laughs> I was just ordering things and there was sales and uh, I'm not very familiar with either of these shops. So just something to note in case you're like me and you're just going on the store to shop and you're not like, you know, knowing everything and doing everything. Okay, let's look at the pink binder. Okay, so like the pink one comes with this list of things, <laughs> which is helpful, honestly. I just love the little the little kitty knob, but yeah, it comes with, oh, it comes with a regular one in case you want a regular one, but no, I like the kitty one, and backboard, and a pink strap in case you don't want the black one. Okay, this, I like this one better. <laughs> if this is the new one, I like this better, but yeah, I got the blue pages but yeah i would definitely want double-sided pages if they have these that fit the dragon shield and are double-sided i would have to look into it but this this thing this is helpful this thing is helpful okay let's go on to prism platinum okay so these three huge boxes is what prism platinum sent me so <laughs> i spent like $40 more at Prism Platinum getting essentially the same thing. Um, but while they didn't have a sale, they did have like freebies, I guess you would call them. But yeah, I did basically just get 
two binders, which I got the Constellation binder and the Dream binder. I wanted a pink and a white binder. They didn't have a pink binder. I know they made a pink binder at one point, but I don't know if it's just not in their US store. I don't know if it got discontinued. So I was a little disappointed. I got this purple instead, but like I wanted pink. <laughs> I even waited to make this video um, because one, Meow Cafe um, released five pocket pages. So if you if the group only has like five or 10 members, five pocket pages. And then I was like, oh, well then, you know, if I'm going to do a second order, then I can get those pages from Prism Platinum or those pages from Meow Cafe. And then I was hoping that when they did their like big new year shop update, they were going to have the pink binder. Um, so I waited and then they didn't. So <laughs> highly upsetting, <laughs> but I guess purple's fine. So yeah, I got each binder was almost $45. It was $44.90 for each binder. And then the pages were $7.40 a piece per like pack. And I got six pages. And then they gave me just like a bunch of freebies, like a bunch of freebies. There was like some kind of winter BTS sale thing. So a bunch of freebies. Um, so all in all, I did get free shipping. So I'm appreciative um, and I didn't have to pay tax because they're Australian based. So all in all, I paid $112 for this Prism Platinum order. So like $40 more than what I spent at Meow Cafe. But okay, let me, this, these boxes are so big. Good God. Let's start with this littler box, which I assume is all of the freebies. So this is their box. We love the packaging. And there's a thing inside of a thing. Okay. <laughs> so here is their little card. It says, Happy Holidays. I did buy this like just before Christmas. So, okay. So this is photo card sleeves for 85 by 105. I'm pretty sure this is all like BTS oriented and centered things. <laughs> which I don't collect BTS. <laughs> so I don't even know if I have anything in these sizes that would need these sleeves. Um, film strip sleeves, I definitely could use. ATs does some film strip things. I don't even know what kind of photo card would be this size. Like these are just very BTS oriented things, which is not a bad thing. Again, if you collect BTS, this is like probably the shop for you, but I don't have a use for most of these things. Again, this is not to say that I don't appreciate them because I do. Like maybe I can send them to a friend or something, but I also got one pocket pages, which is like so super great. I got two pocket pages and then here is all of my four pocket pages. So all of these, all the like pocket pages I bought, I purchased all six of these pocket pages. And then these like sleeve things for like specialty size item, these were all free. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I just really wanted to try their one and two pockets because I have a lot of items that are more rare that need this size that I would like to store. And then, yeah, let's do, let's, because I don't, <laughs> those, those binders, good God. They're just looming. <laughs> they are looming. <laughs> so let's do the pocket page test. It has compatibility with like the six ring A5s as well as their three ring A5s. So let's put our handy dandy test strong low in here. Let's see. Okay, so these are like <laughs> somehow too big. <laughs> like there's definitely space on either side of him. Yep, he fell out. <laughs> Granted, I did shake that very hard, but he definitely fell out because it's not tight enough. And like definitely if you sleeved in Japanese size, like he would just fly out. He would fly to the moon. Like, oh my gosh. Um, so while I'm sure they would be secure in these, I feel like they would like wiggle and then become crooked. I don't know. We'll, we'll test this out long term, but that's just kind of my initial thoughts on this. I don't know why these pockets are so big. Like for what, 
for what sleeve size is this made for? <laughs> Here is also a size comparison for the pages. So yeah, you can see me <laughs> cafe like comes up to here and then Prism Platinum is like much taller. So I'll show them side by side in case anybody's like, Shy, what's the page difference? Like if I line them up at the bottom, that's the size difference. <laughs> it is really pretty. Like it is a really pretty purple. I just would have preferred pink. <laughs> so persnickety. Okay, I don't know if this is supposed to fold down, but like I was kind of worried that it wouldn't because like a lot of people that I see that store in Prism Platinum don't fold this part down, but it does go down. So I'm happy about that. Comes with this giant styrofoam block and this ring protector in here. Beautiful, perfect, amazing. And I love, love, love the magnetic closing. Like that's sexy we love that okay so we got another thank you note this creator is so so sweet i've i've followed them for a long time i just did not feel like buying from australia i'm gonna be real honest i did consider it once though but it does come with like the little backboard theirs is just like a half backboard instead of like the full length one and then they do include these cute dividers. I didn't know these came in here, but yeah, cute dividers. We love to see it. Okay, let's look at the white one as well. Okay, so this is everything that comes in the white binder. We have the same thank you note, backboard, color coordinated dividers. I like this one much more. <laughs> Just because again, I am a pink, white and gold girly. So anything in those I'm gonna love. I love the little like dainty hollow details. I think it's so pretty. The material of this seems like it would be good to like customize by sticking stickers on. Um, I think you could even get one of those like stick on photo pouches so you can still put like a photo card in the front if that's what you like to do. I think it would stick well. Um, so that's great. I do worry that like this um, white binder might either like yellow or just get dirty very easily but that's just if you own white things that's just what's gonna happen <laughs> um so again I'll keep you updated on that as well but yeah basically the same inside ring protectors huge block of styrofoam and that sexy magnetic closing that I love so as for which one I want to store my Hongjun collection in. <laughs> um, I think, I think I will put Hongjun in this white binder just because I love it a whole lot and that like I can kind of deco the front for him. Because while I do love this Meow Cafe binder, for one, the, the white one doesn't even have the cat thing. Two, I'm kind of worried about this. And then like, oh, and then three, um, this cover while like nice and solid, I don't, I don't know about being able to stick stickers on this long term. Like you could stick them on there, whether they will actually stick and like adhesive to this well, I don't think it will. Um, I've, I've had things in this material and like the stickers will slide and move around and then ultimately come off or like the design that you meticulously designed will get all messed up. The stickers will start becoming non-sticky and like stuff will start getting stuck to them. Like I, I've experienced this material. So like, while I think it is a cute binder overall, I would like, you know, to be able to put something on the cover or for it to like have a design on the cover and so like it's just a little plain for me not to say I won't use it I still think it's like a good stable sturdy good binder but like I just love the look of this one a little more so I think I will use this one for Hongjun and I will find other collections for my Meow Cafe binder but I really wish this one came in pink <laughs> 
Um, and I don't know how these pages are going to work out, but like very much it could be me. It could be me who like just bought the wrong size of pages from, from both places. I honestly just got what was recommended from them since you know it's their like website and they were like oh I recommend these pages that is what I got so okay so I decided to insert this clip of a flip through of my new Hongjun collection oh my god that magnet's so strong <laughs> so I ended up just like putting his cover in their one pocket page and it like filled it perfectly because I just still love this cover and I want to keep it but yeah so new day new problems <laughs> well really it's the same day but yeah my binder papers like <laughs> there's a huge gap now um and I also forgot to mention that uh Prism Platinum did send me um like a, a downloadable pdf of binder fillers so if their measurements are for their pockets I might play around with that file and create my own template and then thus and therefore create new binder papers because yeah this gap will drive me insane like it, it very much will drive me insane um but other than that like I don't think the cards are gonna like fly out and with normal use I always do an extreme test of anything that I own because like what if? <laughs> what if there was an earthquake and all my Hongjuns got shaken? Um, so yeah, I always do an extreme test, but like just sitting on my shelf and then me flipping through it, I, I don't think anything's going to happen. So although the like extra sizeness does kind of bother me, if I do end up making my own binder fillers, which I'm going to have to do because see, these are already like becoming crooked and I like extensively put them in there straight <laughs> mm -hmm. um then it'll fill the whole pocket and then I won't have to worry about my sleeve sliding around because there will be something in there to kind of like fill out the pocket and so like that'll just work beautifully um I do really love the quality of their pages I don't know if y'all can tell on camera but like these are so crystal clear like these are so amazingly crystal clear and beautiful. Not that I don't love my Amifa pages. I do, but it was just kind of like the only option for us Dragon Shield users was to use Amifa pages because they were like the only ones that made um, A5 stuff big enough. But we have new options. So yeah, I did also go ahead and put my postcards in here. The size is absolutely perfect. I'm so happy. I really want to see about getting some of their postcard sleeves but I would have to like measure my postcards and then like figure out that whole thing and I'm still <laughs> I'm like a broken record sometime I also put these in here just because they're more rare and I want them to be protected even though they're not technically Hongjun um but yeah I'm really still kind of holding out that they'll restock with a pink binder I want it so bad <laughs> but yeah um I will look into getting postcard sleeves, see if they have their own like photo card sleeves. I don't know if I'll switch to them, but like I just, I hate extra space. Like that's, oh, that's one thing that like bothers me as a collector is like when, when there's extra space, cause I'm just gonna be sitting here like adjusting stuff until the end of time. So yeah, I want to see if I can make binder fillers that are the correct size and because I like my Hongjun collection, have a backing. I don't know what I'm going to do with these ones now. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. But yeah, overall, I really, really do like it. I have so much space because like my other binder, like I said, was like very full. Um, and I was like, I'm either going to have to get a second binder or I'm going to have to upgrade him into a bigger one. And like this is so perfect I have so much space I could double what I have now which will eventually happen so like I love space to grow especially for 80s but yeah I just wanted to insert this clip in case anybody wanted to see like what my collection would like actually look like in here but yeah really the only complaint is I really want a pink binder but you know it's fine it's fine okay so this is update part two electric boogaloo it's been a week, so 
after I did all that and said all that, I did in fact go um, in my email where Prism Platinum sent me this template. This is, to, to make a long complicated story short, the template that they give you is printed on A4 paper, um, but I live in America where we have stupid measurements and so we use US standard letter size paper. So then I tried to resize it and then the, the like actual filler size kept changing and I fixed it and I did a test print. And so this is the filler printed on US American size paper. I sent this to the print shop and <laughs> they, <laughs> they came back with this. Um, does this look the same size to you? <laughs> but like, honestly, it again, long story short, TLDR. Um, I didn't want to fight with the print shop. I didn't want to wait there for another hour to have them fix it. So I was just like, whatever, I will make this work. So this is the size filler, which is in my binder, which this is the original size. So you can see that it's a little bit less tall and a little bit more wide. It's not, <laughs> again, just so many things not being the correct size. Um, it's not like, you, you can see how all of these things are not the same size <laughs> and they should be. Everything needs to be this size, but this is what we got. So like it does fill in the gap, like literally a monochrome more, but honestly, I kind of like it better. So I just thought I would just, um, fill in all of those blanks because when you see this binder next it is going to look like this i also do like that i designed these to all be pink <laughs> so there's that um and because i had them print this is still the wrong paper too like it a whole lot of things went wrong with this print but he he didn't know how to work the printer the man was doing the best he could um but i had this printed on thicker paper to like fill out the pocket more and so now my cards don't move so that issue that I had with them like you know going askew because you know the pocket's not filled out because the sleeve size is smaller than the pocket that issue was kind of solved with me having fillers or backdrops or bindle desi whatever you want to freaking call it um that's that's kind of fixed with that now they don't slide i can flip these pages as carelessly as i want and all my hong Junes are going to stay perfect as they should be so i just wanted to put this second update in here so that y'all know where we're at now but yes i do in fact love this binder a whole lot i still don't know how long the white miss of it is gonna hold up but I, I'll update about that in another future video maybe we'll do a like review at the end of the year of like how the binder supplies worked out and if I'm changing anything and such and so forth but yeah just wanted to make the second update so that we can all be on the same page because <laughs> I knew I was gonna get a lot of comments about like the fillers and like what I'm gonna do so I'm just like okay here we go um so yeah this is what we're working with this is what we got I have nothing else to say about it. Okay. With that, <laughs> we are done with this Prism Platinum and Meow Cafe review. Um, I will keep um, an eye on their websites because I would really love double-sided pages as well as the five pocket pages from Meow Cafe. And I want a pink binder and maybe better fitting pages from Prism Platinum. So I'm going to keep an eye on both shops, but overall, I really love all of the products that I got for them. I am so grateful for the freebies that were included and the sales from the other side. Like, I'm very happy overall with my purchase. So with that, this video is over. So if you joined me for this entire review, I really appreciate you. And until the next time I spend $200 on binders, bye! Thank you.